So we're going to construct the base plate and the, from using a 9 by 12 sheet of paper, we're going to start with a co uh, half inch border around the page, right? We're going to start with a half inch border around the page, so that's what we're going to do now. And we're using a border line. So I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to go in with a half inch border. I'm going to make a mark. We use a 0.9 pencil. It is the darkest pencil we have, um, or, the, or the thickest and darkest pencil, uh, lead or pencil that we're using for it. You should be going in with construction lines to get an idea that you're doing it correctly. And this is why you go in with construction lines first. Make sure that it's lining up. And this is not. So I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to go back over again. So do not go in with a heavy line. Okay, and now we're going to go in on this side. And again, we're going to put in our half inch guides up here as well. Okay, and we're going to just make sure that makes it. All right. Now I'm going to add my title block. My title block is three quarters of an inch. So that is the height of it. You're going to construct the title block later on. We're just going to position it so we have our drawing area to work in. Now I'm going to go in with my rulers. So I'm going to use my ruler and I'm also going to use my triangle to get my diagonal. That's the first thing that we do uh, when creating a drawing. We need to find the center of it. And this is our first step, finding the center of the page. All right, and we're using the X method, which is pretty much just drawing an X in the center of the page to get that first center point. So I'm using these two because they're long enough to reach your head. So you have to make sure that these are butt together. All right. And that both ends are touching the diagonals on each side. I'm going to move this 
and make sure that so I'm going to make a line that is somewhere in the middle of this page all right and I'm going to do it on the opposite side as well So make sure that they're butted together and that it's now touching each end of our diagonal. Right, so once we have that, you'll see that it's overlapping and I'm gonna make a little X, okay? I can erase the rest of it, I don't need it. That's the center of my page. Next we need to look at is our overall width and height. My overall width is eight and a half, my overall height is five. So I am going to divide eight and a half by two to get four and a quarter and then five by two to get two and a half. So that's my half of my width and my height. Based on the fact that we have our center, we're now going to go in with our horizontal and vertical line. Now, um, I need to get a horizontal line, right? So, I mean, there's a way to do it with the triangles and so forth, but our easiest way, I'm going to do the vertical first, is I'm going to line my triangle up to the horizontal of my title block uh, to my center, and I'm going to make a guide. Right? And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my horizontal line. Now I can't do it that way. So actually I can because we do have horizontals or verticals this way. So I'm gonna line it up with our vertical. And this is the assumption that your vertical line was done correctly. And I'm going to make a guide going horizontally. Right, so it goes straight through our center X that we have constructed. Now, now I'm going to go in with my width. My width was four and a quarter. I'm going to put it on the center of each side. So we have four and a quarter. I'm going to go four and a quarter on one side four and a quarter on the other side, right? And I'm gonna come down a little bit again and do the same thing again. So four and a quarter, and four and a quarter, which gives us our full eight and a half. We'll do it higher up. Four and a quarter, eight and a half. I'm gonna draw some guides here. And my guide can actually be from my two and a half, I could have, right? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go two and a half, up two and a half, down, which should give us our five. So from the center, two and a half, five, right? And I have my guides here as well. We'll do it again. I'll go two and a half on both sides since my ruler is, can it go all the way to the end? Make sure it's lined up. And these are all done in construction lines. Okay, so my lines might be a little darker than it should be because I want to make sure that you can see the lines and then we're gonna close this off. So this should be eight and a half, right? And then on the other side here, it's gonna be, make sure it's lined up. Eight and a half, all right? So this now shows us, this is where our drawing is supposed to be. It's in our overall height and in our overall width. 
So we can go into our drawing now, and we're going to start with the square. Now there is 3 S cubed. It just means it's 3 inches square. So from our midpoint, we're going to measure out 1.5 on both sides. So from my midpoint, I'm going to measure out 1.5 on both sides. So 1.5, 1.5. I'll come down a bit lower. I'm going to do it again. One and a half. One and a half. All right. Try not to go two. It's one and a half. Because we want to equal it to three. So we have our guide here. And from my center again, I'm going to go. Not from the center, sorry. From my horizontal line, I'm going to measure it out to be one and a half out right so one and a half from our guides and we're going to do it again here so i'll start this make sure it's lined up all right one and a half i'm going to go half and then one now we can enclose this all right you see and it's three inches We'll do it over on this side. Now, object lines, we use a 0 0.7 uh, pencil when constructing. Right, and it uses a 2H lead. So we have one feature done. We're going to do our two side features here. On our drawing, it says we go one, one inch. It's one inch away from the object line and it's also one inch from the center line and it's two inches overall height. So let's do that. So we're going to measure out one inch in distance, three quarters of an inch, and we'll come down just a bit because remember it's not three inches in height but two, three quarters of an inch. And we'll do it here as well. One inch, three quarters. And then I'm going to go in with this. Make sure that I'm on my horizontal. And I'm going to go one inch on both sides. All right, I'll do it again. I'll do one inch on both sides. And now I can enclose it. So we have three quarters of an inch. And three quarters of an inch. I'll do it on the same, uh, the same exact thing on the right side because we have our center line. It means that the dimensions are symmetrical on both sides. So one inch from the object line, three quarters of an inch. I'll come down a little lower. The same thing again, one inch, three quarters of an inch. Same thing here, one inch, three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to come along here. It is two units high, two, sorry, two inches high. And I'm going to put my my uh, measurement on the horizontal line and one inch on both sides. All right, we'll do it again. On both sides. And it is three quarters of an inch. And we're going to close that off. All right, and we can actually overlap it to the other one on the other side here as well and we're going to close that off okay so we've gotten to this point and now we're going to now construct the overall um, features so we're going to read that this is two and a quarter inches from the end that's where the angle starts and it's 30 degrees. 
and it's going to be same on all sides. So I'm going to start off with marking off my two and a quarter guide. So from the end, I'm going to mark off my two and a quarter guide. Right. So one, two and a quarter. I'll mark it here as I'm on the right. One, one, two and a quarter. All right, I'll do it on this side as well. One, two and a quarter. One, two and a quarter. Okay. Now I can go in with my triangle. Okay. And I can line it up with the horizontal on my title block. So I'm going to line it up here. And I'm going to bring it back until it actually overlaps or connects with my point of where I've started it, right? So that's where I've started it. And now I'm going to go in with my diagonal, All right? So it's 30 degrees, two and a quarter in distance. I can do it on this side as well, right? But I'm also gonna show you how you can do it for the protractor. So I'm gonna line up my point uh, on the um, horizontal. So I'm lining up with the horizontal and making sure my 180 lines up on this side here. So it's gonna automatically line up there. And then we're going to make a mark, um, 30 or 150 since it's on the opposite side. And I can then connect my lines to my two and a quarter distance, All right? That's my object line. I can start closing this off. All right, so we're gonna go on the other side as well. Again, we can use these as my horizontal. I'm gonna go here. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to reach all the way back, so I'm gonna use a protractor instead. If you have a smaller one, it might actually work even better. So I'll line this up. Make sure my 180 is also lined up. And then I'm gonna mark off my 30 degrees on this side. It's right there. I'm gonna draw my line. On my guide a neat trick when drawing your object lines or any pencil or any line that you're doing is to rotate the pencil as you're drawing and that helps to keep the the points uh, the same consistency um, so we'll do this again I'm gonna try this with my gotta rotate it in different ways to get the angle yeah so there's the angle again I'm going to make sure it's aligned on my horizontal at the top of my page and I'm going to bring it over until it makes contact with my point that's right there and I'm going to now I'm going to go in really lightly first so I can get an idea and then I can go in um, with a heavier with a darker line right okay and now I can go in with all of these right we got one you can close this off And I can also close this one off. All right, so we don't have the T-square, but we can still construct our plate. Last thing we need to do is adding our center lines. The center lines consist of, and because this is a large drawing, our center line is going to consist of the long lines being one and a half, space, one sixteenth, short lines or dash one eighth 
and that's how the consistency is going to go. Once we get to the end of the object line, we're going to extend it quarter of an inch past. Okay, so that is once your center line passes the object line, you extend it quarter of an inch and you stop. So let's do that. I'm going to start with the center because it's easier for your short lines to fall on that if it starts there. So again, one eighth, that should be two units, a space of one, because an inch is made up of 16 units, so one unit is one sixteen. And then we're gonna go with, I'm gonna bring this over so it's easier for me to see, right? And then I'm gonna go with one and a half, so one. And I'm going to stop, space, one eighth, space, then stop, right, one eighth, and then we're going to start. I'm crossing over my object line, so I'm going to start with my quarter of an inch. That's quarter of an inch, so we're going to stop, that's one half of my center line. I'm going to go on the other side. I'm going to align it where I want it to start. Okay, and we're going to go in again. So I have my short line, so it's my long line. I'm going to go with one and a half. And I'm going to stop. Then we're going to space one eighth. And then half, uh, one and a half again. Right, stop, one eighth. And then we're going to go past the object line. Oops, I moved. Past the object line, and then we're gonna go a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna stop. That's my center line. I'm gonna go this way again. Start from the center. And how I'm positioning it is just that um, where I start my long lines, I wanted to not um, have, I wanted to make it easy for me to identify where I need to stop. All right, so eighth of an inch, I'm going to go down first. All right, that's my one and a half, stop, one eighth, then go. So I'm going to go past the object line and it's quarter of an inch. So that's my quarter of an inch. I stop. I'm going to do it going up as well. You do not need to move so it doesn't get hard for you to position it back again, but I wanted you to see. So we're going to go one and a half, then one eighth, and we're going to go past the object line, one quarter, I mean, sorry, quarter of an inch. And that's our drawing, guys. I hope this was helpful.